In this video we will learn about all the placement and targeting features of Brave. The placement section lets you place where your pop-ups will be displayed. You can display your campaign on any page of your website. The whole site option can be used if you are trying to display the pop-up throughout your whole site. If you want to exclude the pop-up from certain pages, you can simply select those pages from the exclude section. To display the pop-up on your homepage only, select the homepage option. If you want to display the pop-up on certain pages only, select this option. You can display your pop-up on selected pages, posts, products, archive pages, and custom post types. You can select the pages where you want to display the campaign from the Pages tab. To display the campaign only on certain blog posts, click the Posts tab and select your posts. If you only want to display the campaign on posts from certain categories, simply click the Category tab and select your desired categories. You can do the same for tags from the Tags tab. If you have WooCommerce installed and want to display the campaign only on certain product pages, you can do so from the Products tab. To display the campaign only on products that have certain categories, simply click the Category tab and select your desired categories. You can display the pop-up on Posts category pages or Product category pages from the Archives tab. If your plugin creates custom post types like events or real estate listings, you can select them from the CPT section. If you want to display the pop-up to URLs with a certain UTM or to a precise URL, you can use the custom URL option. The trigger section lets you select when to open the pop-up once the visitor enters the page. There are few ways to trigger the pop-ups and you can combine some of these triggers. To open the pop-up once the page is loaded, select the Page Load option. To open the pop-up whenever the visitor tries to leave the page, use the Exit Intent option. One thing to note that, Exit Intent does not work on mobile devices. When you select this option, you will be required to select a separate trigger option for mobile only. You can either trigger the pop-up on mobile on page load, on scroll, or after a few seconds. You can trigger the pop-up when the visitor scrolled to a certain percent of the page. If you want to hide the pop-up when the visitor scrolls up again, enable the Hide Again on Scroll Up option. To display the pop-up when you want a visitor clicks a certain link or a button on your site, use the On Click option. There are two ways to link the pop-up trigger with your button or link. The easiest method is adding the given code as your link's URL. And another advanced method is to insert the unique class or ID of the button in the Click Element Class field. You can also trigger the pop-up after a few seconds of the visitor's landing on the page with the Time Spent option. From the Audience section, you will be able to set who will see your campaign. The device option lets you display the campaign only to visitors that are viewing the page with a mobile or a desktop device. If you want to display the campaign to desktop users only, you can do it from here. You can restrict the campaign to specific user types and roles with this option. If you want to display the campaign to users with certain roles, Simply select Registered User and then choose the User Roles from the Roles option. From the Traffic Source section, you can make the campaign visible to only those who came from a specific website or a web page. You can enable the first option to match any users who came from a certain domain, instead of the precise URL. 
If you don't want to display the campaign to visitors who came from this URL or domain, you can enable the second option. The Advanced Filter section is where you can granularly control who sees your campaign. If you want to display your pop-up only if the current URL contains a certain word, you can enable this option and then insert the word that you want to target. For example, if you want to display the campaign only to certain users with unique link, you can simply add a question and your unique word at the end of the URL. Then insert the unique word in the UTM field. Now the pop-up will only open when this exact link is accessed by someone. You can also display or hide your pop-up to visitors that have a certain browser cookie. From the Page tab, you can restrict the pop-up to only those who visited certain pages in past. For example, if you want to display a promo code on your landing page only if the visitor has visited a specific page, you can define it here. From the pop-up section, you can target visitors who viewed or completed a goal of a previous Brave campaign. If you don't want to display multiple pop-ups in the same page, you can hide the pop-up if another pop-up is currently displayed in the current page. You can only display pop-ups to visitors from certain countries from the Location section. From the WooCommerce tab, you can access all the WooCommerce-related advanced targeting features. You can display your pop-up only if the visitor has added a certain product to their cart. You can also display the pop-up only if the user has already purchased a certain product in past. If you have a few pop-ups on the same page and you want a certain pop-up to be displayed on top of another, simply enable this option and insert a positive number. The higher the number, the higher it will show up on the screen. The frequency settings let you control how many times you serve your pop-ups to a visitor. You can display the pop-up only two or three times in their current session, hours, or days. If you want to keep showing the pop-up till the visitor completes the goal, you can turn on the second option. If you have a form in your pop-up, and you do not want to display the pop-up to the visitors that already submitted the form, you can use this option. You can also delay showing the pop-up for a certain number of days after the visitor closed it. If you have multiple steps and want to display visitors' last viewed step when they view the pop-up again, use this option. Please note that when you are logged in as an admin, the frequency settings won't apply to you and the pop-ups will be always shown to you.